Have you ever wondered how to maintain a sense of inner peace amidst the turbulence of modern life? In a world full of pressure and stress, seeking a solid spiritual foundation becomes more important than ever. Stoicism, originating from ancient Greek philosophy, not only offers profound lessons, but also provides practical guidelines to help us live a meaningful and serene life. Imagine waking up every morning with a calm mind and steadfast spirit, no matter how many challenges life throws at you. The principles of Stoicism equip us with invaluable mental tools to face all events with patience and wisdom. Let's explore how to practice Stoicism through 10 simple yet highly effective habits. Each habit is a small step that helps you build a strong spirit, facing life with calmness and deep intellect. As you embark on this journey, you will realize that life is not just about challenges, but also opportunities for us to train and grow each day. Let's begin this journey today to find true peace and happiness from the simplest things. Let's start this journey today and leave a comment. I am ready for this journey to find true peace and happiness from the simplest things, turning every challenge into an opportunity and every failure into a new step forward on the path to a life full of peace and achievement. Number one, negative visualization. Have you ever thought about the worst things that could happen and mentally prepared for them? Negative visualization or premeditation malorum is one of the key lessons of stoicism, helping us face life with calmness and wisdom. Instead of fear and anxiety, we learn to mentally prepare for the unexpected and undesirable. Negative visualization does not mean being pessimistic or losing faith in life. On the contrary, it helps us recognize the value of what we have and be ready to face challenges. Imagine starting your day by envisioning the worst that could happen, losing your job, having an accident, or losing a loved one. This does not make you fearful. Rather, it prepares you mentally and fosters patience and gratitude. Jesus also taught us about preparation and patience. In the Bible, he says, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Vigilance and mental preparation are crucial elements to help us face life's difficulties. Let's take an example from real life. You can start by imagining losing your current job. This will motivate you to prepare a backup plan, save financially, and develop new skills. When the worst happens, you are ready and not caught off guard. Negative visualization also helps us appreciate the present moments. Knowing that everything can disappear at any time teaches us to slow down, love more, and be grateful for the simple things. Ask yourself, if I lost everything tomorrow, what would I do today? This question helps us live more deeply and meaningfully. Indeed, practicing negative visualization changes how we perceive life, making us stronger and more resilient. By combining the lessons of Stoicism and the teachings of Jesus, we can find peace and strength in our daily lives despite life's challenges and uncertainties. Number two, trichotomy of control. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Epictetus. Have you ever felt helpless in the face of events beyond your control? Stoic philosophy teaches us about three principles of control. Things within our control, things outside our control, and things we can influence. This understanding helps us find peace in a turbulent world. First, 
Focus on what you can control. These are our thoughts, actions and reactions. Ask yourself, how can I improve myself every day? We can choose how to face difficulties, adopt a positive attitude and develop the necessary skills. For example, if you're struggling at work, instead of worrying about external factors like the market or your boss's decisions, focus on enhancing your skills and performance. Next are things beyond our control. These include events like the weather, other people's behavior, or unexpected incidents. We can't change these events, but we can change how we perceive and react to them. For instance, if it rains on the day you planned a picnic, instead of getting upset, enjoy the time at home with your family and use it to rest. Finally, we can influence some things even if we don't fully control them. These include relationships, work and long-term goals. We can't force others to act according to our wishes, but we can influence them through positive words and actions. Ask yourself, what can I do to improve this situation? For example, in a relationship, even if you can't change the other person entirely, you can create positive change by listening and understanding. Jesus also taught us about inner control. He said, therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This reflects the stoic idea of living in the present and focusing on what we can do. In daily life, applying the three principles of control helps reduce stress and anxiety. By accepting what is beyond our control and focusing on what we can do, we find peace and inner strength. Remember, we cannot change the world, but we can change how we perceive and live in it. Next, let's move on to the third secret in our journey of discovering and conquering our best potential. But first, I have a question for you. Have you ever felt haunted by past mistakes or worried about the future? This question invites us to discuss the third secret, accepting the past and the present. Number three, accepting the past and present. One of the essential lessons of Stoicism is learning how to accept the past and live fully in the present. Acceptance does not mean giving up, but recognizing that the past cannot be changed and the present is the only thing we can control. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus emphasized that what has happened in the past is no longer within our grasp. Instead of dwelling on it, we should focus on our current actions to build a better future. Take, for example, someone who has failed in business. Instead of remaining mired in the pain of failure, they can learn from their mistakes and start anew with the knowledge and experience they have gained. Similarly, as Jesus said in the Bible, let the past die, live in the light of today. Jesus teaches us to focus on the present, live with faith, and not be bound by worries about the future. Nelson Mandela's story is a vivid illustration of this lesson. Imprisoned for 27 years, Mandela did not let his dark past break him. Instead, he chose to live with forgiveness and focus on building a peaceful and just South Africa. When we accept the past and live in the present, we not only find peace, but also become better equipped to face challenges with clarity and calmness. Remember, the burdens of the past only make us weary and hinder our progress. Practicing acceptance lightens our hearts and opens up new opportunities Starting today, let go of unnecessary burdens and live fully in each moment, 
as Jesus taught. Join the conversation in our comment section. Have you ever thought about how you can let go of the past and accept the present? What is holding you back? Your story will be an inspiration and a source of reflection and learning for all of us. Leave a comment below and join the conversation. Number four, not being phased by insults, anger. Have you ever felt hurt by insults and felt anger rise within you? We need to remember that insults only have power if we allow them to affect us. Stoic philosophy teaches us that no one can hurt you unless you let them. Stoicism teaches that while we cannot control the words and actions of others, we can control our reactions. When someone insults you, remember that it is merely their opinion and not the truth about you. You have the right to choose not to let those words hurt you. Ask yourself, do their words truly define my worth? The answer is often no. A practical example from life is when you are criticized by colleagues or friends. Instead of reacting immediately with anger, pause and think. Do these words really matter? Do they affect my true value? As Jesus taught, if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. Jesus encourages us to face insults with tolerance and not let them harm our souls. Consider the story of Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi was frequently insulted and mistreated throughout his life as he fought for freedom and justice. Instead of reacting with anger, he chose to respond with calmness and tolerance, turning insults into motivation to continue fighting for his ideals. When insulted, ask yourself, is it true? If not, disregard it and don't let it bother you. These words remind us that our reactions are our choice and we can choose peace instead of anger. When you learn not to be affected by insults and anger, you will find inner peace and mental strength. Remember, you have the power to control your reactions and no one can hurt you if you don't allow it. Practice this lesson daily and you will become stronger and more resilient as taught by Jesus and the Stoic philosophers. Number five, voluntary discomfort, advanced Stoic. Voluntary discomfort is one of the core principles of Stoicism, aiming to better prepare us for unexpected challenges in life. By actively accepting and facing difficulties, we cultivate patience, resilience, and mental strength. Practicing poverty, wearing simple clothes, and eating the simplest meals are ways to prepare for potential hardships in the future. Stoic philosophy encourages us to become familiar with discomfort so that we are not caught off guard and overwhelmed when real difficulties arise. Imagine deciding to walk to work one day instead of driving. During your walk, you not only improve your health, but also learn to face challenges like harsh weather and heavy traffic. These experiences help you become stronger and more appreciative of the conveniences you use daily. Jesus also taught about voluntarily enduring hardships to strengthen the soul and willpower. In the Bible, he says, If anyone wants to follow me, let them deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. Voluntarily accepting difficulties helps us understand ourselves better and strengthen our faith. Have you ever thought about putting yourself in inconvenient situations for training? What is holding you back? Practicing voluntary discomfort not only prepares us for challenges, but also increases our gratitude for present comforts and happiness. Consider living a week without using electronic devices. In this age of technological advancement, temporarily distancing yourself from phones 
and computers can be a significant challenge. However, you will realize that you have more time to read, converse with loved ones, and even reflect on life. These activities help you become calmer and appreciate simple moments. Adversity reveals a person's true nature, and nothing strengthens a person more than training and accepting hardships. When we voluntarily accept and face discomfort, we become more resilient and ready to face any challenge life brings. Start with the smallest things and gradually build your mental strength. By practicing voluntary discomfort, you will discover your immense strength and endurance as taught by Jesus and the Stoic philosophers. We want to send our thanks and congratulations to you for making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are fully prepared for this journey. Now, let's shift your focus to the remaining five principles in pausing thoughts for self-improvement. Number six, self-discipline. Have you ever wondered why self-discipline is essential for achieving success and happiness? For Stoic philosophers, self-discipline is not just a virtue, but the foundation for living a fulfilling and meaningful life. Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, once said, Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. This means that when we control ourselves, we are truly free. Self-discipline is the ability to control your emotions, behaviors, and thoughts to pursue higher goals. Imagine you are trying to maintain a daily exercise habit. Self-discipline helps you overcome laziness and the desire to rest, allowing you to achieve your health and fitness goals. Jesus also taught about the importance of self-control and discipline. In the Bible, he says, whoever is faithful in little things will also be faithful in much. This emphasizes that cultivating discipline in small aspects of life will help us achieve greater accomplishments. Have you ever thought about how your life would change if you could completely control your emotions and actions? Consider the case of a university student. To achieve good academic results, the student needs to be disciplined in managing time, completing assignments on time, and not being distracted by recreational activities. This self-discipline will help the student achieve academic goals and build a foundation for a future career. Another example from life is the story of athlete Michael Phelps. To become one of the greatest swimmers of all time, Phelps had to adhere to a strict training regimen and iron discipline. It wasn't just about hours of daily training, but also following a strict diet and sleep schedule. This self-discipline helped Phelps achieve extraordinary feats in his career. You can start cultivating self-discipline with small actions like waking up early every day, planning your work and sticking to it. Gradually, self-discipline will become an indispensable part of your life, helping you achieve your goals and live a dream-worthy life. Remember, as taught by Jesus and Stoic philosophers, Self-discipline not only brings success, but also helps us find true peace and freedom. In exploring the profound wisdom of Stoicism, I was deeply impressed by this proverb. The richest person is not the one who has the most, but the one who needs the least. This saying leads us to a core practice of Stoicism, which is also the seventh key to becoming remarkably wise. Number seven, simplify lifestyle advanced stoic. Simplifying your lifestyle not only helps reduce stress, but also allows you to focus on what truly matters. Start by organizing your living space. Remove unnecessary items, keeping only those that are valuable and meaningful. 
When your space becomes tidy, your mind will also become clearer and more peaceful. Jesus also taught about simplicity and humility in life. He said, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. This teaching reminds us not to be overly obsessed with material wealth, but to cherish spiritual values and the simple yet precious things in life. Take, for example, reducing the time spent on social media and electronic devices. Instead of spending hours online, you could spend time with family, read a book or meditate. These activities not only help you relax, but also create a deeper connection with yourself and those around you. Do you ever feel exhausted because life is too complicated and full of pressure? What is preventing you from living more simply? Try asking yourself these questions and start making changes from the smallest things. Simplifying your lifestyle not only saves time and energy, but also brings true peace and happiness. Start today by eliminating unnecessary things, focusing on core values and seeking peace within your soul. As Jesus and Stoic philosophers have taught, simplicity is the key to elevating the spirit and finding true happiness in life. Are you ready to simplify your lifestyle, to have a clearer mind and focus on positive thoughts and actions? If you're ready, leave a comment saying simplify life to show your determination to change. Let's discuss how we can apply Stoic philosophy to build a better life. Remember, in every challenge, there is an opportunity for those who seize it. Number 8. Put your Stoicism to the test. Have you ever wondered how to truly internalize the principles of Stoicism? Putting Stoicism to the test is not just about facing difficulties, but also an opportunity to verify and strengthen your mental resilience. Imagine deciding to spend a week living with minimal expenses. You refrain from unnecessary purchases, cook your meals instead of eating out, and limit the use of convenience services. This not only helps you understand the value of money better, but also trains your discipline and endurance. Jesus also spent 40 days and nights in the desert, facing temptation and challenges to strengthen his faith and spiritual power. In the Bible, he said, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Through challenges, we learn to seek strength from within, from our beliefs and principles. Have you ever thought about challenging yourself to see more clearly your mental strength? Are you willing to face discomfort to cultivate patience and determination? Small daily challenges like enduring harsh weather, performing difficult tasks, or even giving up bad habits will help you become stronger and more resilient. Marcus Aurelius, an emperor and stoic philosopher, wrote, our lives are what our thoughts make of them. When we face challenges, positive and determined thinking will help us overcome any difficulties. Start with the smallest challenges and gradually increase the difficulty. By continuously putting your stoicism to the test, you will discover your inner strength and limitless coping abilities. Seek steadfastness and peace in every challenge to live a stronger and more meaningful life. Have you ever thought about old age, about those final years slowly approaching? For many, old age brings worries about health, loneliness and decline. But for a Stoic, old age is a natural part of life, a time to live with peace and wisdom. Number 9. Facing old age. Accept everything that comes your way 
even old age. This is part of the journey everyone must go through. Stoic philosophy advises that we see old age not as a burden, but as a phase to enjoy the fruits of a lifetime of labor and learning. Imagine you are sitting on your porch, watching the sunset. This is a time for reflection, to look back on what you have experienced and the lessons you have learned. Old age not only brings physical frailty, but also the opportunity for the soul to become stronger and the intellect to flourish. Jesus Christ also taught us about acceptance and gratitude in every stage of life. In the Bible, he says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. This means that each stage of life has its value and we need to appreciate what we have. Have you ever wondered how to face old age calmly? A prime example is the life of Nelson Mandela. He spent many years in prison, but when he was released in his old age, Mandela bore no resentment and instead used his final years to promote peace and justice. His patience and wisdom have become an inspiration for millions around the world. In our daily lives, we can mentally prepare for old age by living healthily, maintaining good relationships, and finding joy in simple things. Try asking yourself, am I living a life I will not regret when I look back old? This question helps us reshape our way of living and appreciate every moment. When we accept old age with peace and gratitude, we find joy and serenity in every stage of life. Let old age be a time for you to truly live, to look back on what you have been through, and to enjoy peaceful moments with family and friends. Number 10. Enjoying the simplest of things. Have you ever paused to admire the beauty of a sunset or felt the joy of enjoying a hot cup of tea on a chilly morning? Appreciating the simplest things is a valuable lesson from Stoicism, helping us find happiness in the small moments of everyday life. Think about the last time you sat by the window, listening to the rain and feeling a sense of peace, or when you took a walk in the park, breathing in the fresh air and watching the leaves fall. These moments, though simple, contain deep tranquility, allowing us to momentarily escape our daily worries. Jesus Christ also encouraged us to find peace in simple things. He said, Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? This teaching reminds us of the value of simplicity and faith in good things. Have you ever wondered why we often feel happy when we come home after a long day, sitting with family and chatting cheerfully? It's because we are enjoying simple yet meaningful things. In fact, those who appreciate the small things often live happier and less stressful lives. Take Lisa as an example, a mother caring for her family. Every day, Lisa finds joy in preparing meals for her children, watching them grow day by day. These simple moments bring her happiness and satisfaction. Indeed, when we learn to appreciate and enjoy simple things, we find lasting joy and the true meaning of life. Starting today, Take time to look at the blue sky, listen to the birds singing, or simply enjoy a good meal with loved ones. You'll realize that true happiness is not far away, but lies in the simplest moments of everyday life. In the journey to find peace and meaning amid a busy life, Stoicism offers us invaluable lessons. Practicing this philosophy not only helps us overcome difficulties, but also enriches the soul, creating a life worth living. Each habit is a small step that makes us stronger and more resilient. 
Imagine starting each new day with a steadfast spirit and a light heart, no matter how many challenges life brings. Let the teachings of Stoic philosophers and Jesus Christ be your guide, leading you through tumultuous days with calmness and wisdom. Starting with small changes in daily habits, you will see positive transformations in both your mind and life. Remember, true peace and happiness do not come from grand things, but lie in the simplest moments. We don't need to become philosophers to live a stoic life. We just need to appreciate and practice its values every day. Start this journey today and you will discover that true peace and happiness are always within reach in every present moment we live and cherish. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button to support the channel. Leave a comment with your thoughts and share the video with friends and family to spread the good values of Stoic philosophy. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos about Stoic living and self-improvement. Click the notification bell to get updated as soon as we release new videos. We always have interesting and useful content waiting for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.